the city is just kind of exploding right now culturally and I think it's a really exciting place to be. We just feel like this is home. It's hard to imagine ourselves anywhere else. I get a lot of joy um, out of being someplace and having roots and having deep and strong roots that uh, ultimately you hopefully pass on to your family uh, after you. This is a great city. Uh, I remember you know, what downtown Indianapolis looked like when I was growing up and to see the transformation even over the last five to ten years it's been amazing. I love Indianapolis and honestly I don't think I appreciated it until I left. I love Indy. I'm born and raised here of course but I think the people here are really what makes the, the, the city so uh, impactful to me and why I want to remain here. Family's important. Obviously uh, uh, having a support system, five uh, or four brothers and sisters and parents still in the area, it's been, been important to have them around. I, I just believe that happiness and community are intrinsically linked together. And this is where I grew up. This is where my closest friends are. Um, this is where, you know, I met my wife. It's a great city to work. It's a great city to live. And I love how the city is becoming more progressive. I think that Hoosiers are practical and I think they care about helping each other and so I, I feel hope that we can make a difference here. I love the city of Indianapolis because I feel like there's so much stuff to do. Indianapolis is such a thriving city. It has everything that a young professional and a young mother could want for both her career life and for her family life. So everything from the restaurants to the cultural offerings to the canal, things like that, um, really make India a great place to be and live. Just really excited with the technology scene here and kind of the business we're in. The ability to raise capital to find incredible talent, um, access to universities, and then just the livability of the city. I think we're on a really good trajectory downtown. Uh, really good energy right now, uh, just with the way that it's busy and there's a lot of development. Um, well, there's a lot of good things going. There is an alignment with communities, uh, with neighborhoods, with businesses, with the government that says we're heading in this direction and when everybody is rowing in that direction it really, uh, it really has the potential to become a reality here in Indianapolis where it doesn't in a lot of other places. We've had great mayors, we've had great philanthropic leaders, we've had great civic leaders and when we put our minds to tackling really big challenges, our city has a tendency to come together and really accomplish major objectives that would have seemed uh, to have been really hard to accomplish. If you have an idea, you can usually find somebody to talk it through with and somebody will usually help you. If it's a good idea, they'll help you implement. If you want to be a part of a group or a board, you're usually welcomed in some way. If you want to volunteer for something, you can. I am in a position where I, I have conversations with elected officials and uh, in other cities that's just, that's not the case. You know, you're so insulated from, from everything, the power structure, and here I think things are so much more accessible that it's really refreshing. So here I just feel like you're so connected to uh, everything that's going on uh, in and around Indianapolis, uh, Indiana. I think you can get uh, involved so quickly in organizations that matter to you, um, companies that matter to you. I love being in a, in a type of city or a business or in any environment where it's entrepreneurial and you can see the growth and you can you know, put your hand to it and, and help be a part of it. And for Indianapolis to be in such an exciting time, you know, benefiting from some great work that was laid before, uh, it, it, why would you want to leave? It's just that great of a place and I'm happy to call it home.